<clears throat> hey y'all all right so i am out here on location at the park i am walking and walking and walking so i decided to make this a uh, quick video because i made a video the other day uh about how it's important to smell the roses don't overwork and make sure you travel and I was introduced to this new person and uh, apparently this new person uh, has been following me uh, I didn't I didn't know it but this person has been following me and they basically sent me a long email you guys are really utilizing this email <laughs> shout out to miss cutie q at gmail.com it is m z k u e t k u e at gmail.com so they sent me a negative ass email right <laughs> and was like i follow you on instagram which i appreciate you i follow you on youtube which I appreciate you. But I told y'all a long time ago, like my grandma used to say, sometimes people don't follow you or call you or they're your friends because they care about your well-being. Sometimes they keep up with you because they want to be nosy. Okay. So uh, I have always, you know, kept it real with y'all, let y'all know, you know, what's going on, where I'm at when I say I'm out here on location. But, um... Out here on location is a hashtag if you don't know so I'm making this video because the person was like you know you're telling other people to travel and we don't see you traveling well here we go if you take a look at a couple other videos or even go back a little further since you're on my Instagram so much you can see that I used to do a lot of traveling and uh, I've had people ask me this year to go places with them but it's like all the places where my friends are or places that uh, have been available for me to go to. I haven't been here before. I've been every every place on my goal. But uh, I haven't been to Denver and Seattle. I want to go to San Diego and San Francisco. But those places aren't like super important to me. So... If I tell someone, you know, or, or make a suggestion, you should do this, you should do that, it's because um, I've experienced it. You understand what I'm saying? It's not something that I'm just like, oh, you're not doing this and that. I'm not that type of person. So if you watch these videos and that's the vibe you get, your fault, that's your negative mindset. It has nothing to do with me. You can only go to Miami so many times. You can only go visit your people in D.C. so many times. I just got tired of uh, domestic travel. My goal is to stack a little bit more and, excuse me, go a little further out. You know what I'm saying? So, that's my goal. But, um, I have, I've completely ran these streets. <laughs> Greyhound to the mega bus, the mega bus to a flight, Uber to somewhere, to somewhere, to somewhere, and then drove across this country two times around and around. So, you know what I'm saying? When you start to go out of town and you can give other people directions when they stop you and ask you like you a local, that's good. That's good enough. That's good enough for me. So, yeah. And um, I just don't think negativity should lead. You know what I'm saying? Negativity should never lead. You should always be positive because all the things you put in the email it could have been put in a positive light and I could have been like oh that's cool you know but just when you let negativity lead negativity just leads so I can't reciprocate negativity with negativity I can just give you this neutralness and uh, tell you if you want to keep following keep following if you don't don't <laughs> it's not going to affect me one way or another because until this day when you sent that email yesterday or whenever, I didn't even know who you were. So, and now I can press on and still act like I don't know who you are. <laughs> but yeah, like people don't have to be negative. It's no fucking point. It is really nice out here. I like the fact that I can just get up and go to the park whenever I want to and take a walk. I think that's a pure blessing. 
I like life without restrictions. You know, sometimes people get upset because they don't they don't have the setup that they want in their life. I think we've all worked jobs we ain't want to work, did things we ain't want to do. You can't let that stop you. You know. So I'm out here at this huge park. This is one of my favorite ones. There's no markers, but I know once you go all the way around, that's a mile. It's easier to count. Man, I washed the little inserts of my tennis shoes. Washed them, put them in a the washer, dried them, left them in the house. I get to the park, go in the trunk, put my tennis shoes on. I don't have no inserts. So I'm out here with some, y'all see my feet. I'm out here with these sandals on. Sheesh. Out here looking like I'm walking down the street taking a stroll. <laughs> so I can't put a whole bunch of emphasis on it today because these little jellies. I was so happy jellies came back. I just wore them all summer. And I had a pink pair. I ain't wear them. But enough. Y'all know I would go on with a rant forever. But that's it, man. Don't be hitting me up with that pot, that negative drama. Why y'all so aggravated every day? Listen here. The keys and the secret to life and being happy every day is just being happy. That's it. You know what I'm saying? No matter what's going on, you just got to stay happy. Got to stay positive. I went somewhere this morning for breakfast and they messed up everything I ordered. And I didn't order nothing but an English muffin. And two scrambled eggs. I was like, how can you mess up eggs and a muffin? I had an attitude. Because I was pissed off. I was like, this is, this is wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? The lady burnt the muffin all up. It was burnt so bad that it started to crumble. And she just threw it in the little tray for me and was like, here you go. Like, would you eat something that look like this? So, more of the story is, is that everybody not going to treat you like you treat them. After I asked that lady, would she eat it? And she answered my question, so I asked her again. She was like, no, I wouldn't. I was like, all right. Now, could you give me something that you would at least eat? You know what I'm saying? Don't You, you, you know, you got to treat people like you want to be treated. You know, whether you want to get up and go to work or not, I'm still here. And I need this muffin and, and I want my eggs. So, just, you know, be kind to one another. It's getting to the point I used to be a real hothead. And my great-grandmother used to be like, man, you got to stop. You're going to have a heart attack. <laughs> she used to tell me when I was like 12. I'm like, oh, people have heart attacks. Now I see anybody can have one. But she right, so I try not to lose it. I try to keep my composure. I just be so shocked these days at how much stuff I just let roll off my back. Like a duck. Because I'm getting older. <laughs> I can't be out here arguing and beefing with you people. But like I always tell y'all in videos, I will acknowledge you. I'll answer your questions. I'll comment, but I'm not going to go back and forth with you. You know what I'm saying? So, I bet you feel special now. You got a whole video, honey. <laughs> but what I do, I do it for myself. I ain't doing it for nobody but me. That's what I like about this thing. It's my diary. This is not nobody else's diary but my own. And if my little $2,000, uh, 2,000 subscribers, oh, $2,000, I want it. 2,000 <laughs> subscribers come on through and watch it then that's fine by me if they don't that's still fine by me because it's mine it's all mine nobody but mine so they still playing videos uh, is this squirrel taking a boo boo i ain't never seen those girls squat and take a boo boo is that what they do like dogs yeah they still talking about this jay-z and beyonce concert in houston it was very nice very nice. Everybody in the city still vibing off that because y'all say put on. Okay. Well, 
half a mile is up or more than half. I'm like 1.7. So that's good. I go around again. All right, y'all. Peace and blessings to you. No stress. No worries. Just everyday happiness and peace. It's what I'm striving to achieve. And I'm going to get there even when I get these little emails. Because, see, what I have never done is been an Instagram fronter. <sighs> I don't get on Instagram and be like, I'm out here. I'm putting on. I don't got to do all that. Sometimes when you've been there and done that, you just applaud other people when they get to that point. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. But I wish you the best of luck. Tippy typey fingers with the harsh words. But on some real shit, you might want to check out my metaphysical channel, Astra's Closet. I get into some deep meditation. You might not want to be talking to people like that. I'm just saying. All right. Well, I love y'all anyways. No worries. Peace and blessings to you. It is Thursday. They say storm is coming. I see it a little bit in the clouds. <sighs> it's all love. Peace and blessings to you. If you don't follow me on Marquis Marie on uh, Instagram, you can follow me. I got to do better of accepting more people's friend requests there, but... I'm Astra's Closet on Instagram, on here on YouTube, and I got an Astra's Closet Facebook page. I got to open that up. I keep saying that. I've told y'all that like last four videos. So, I'll work on that today. Peace, y'all.